Hello everybody and thanks for joining us for another Whitfield's Food Copycat Recipe. To a place we've never done ever before. Yep, Taco Bell. <laughs> this is a, a, a new test market item that was brought to attention. Thanks, Liz. It kind of, it's like one of those things that, like, they've done so many crunch wraps in the past, it makes you wonder about how this wasn't something that they thought of before, but hey, you know what? No time like the present. So, we are here to do a copycat version, preemptive copycat version of Taco Bell's Mexican pizza crunch wrap. Don't know how they're gonna word it, don't remember. Crunch wrap Mexican pizza. How about that? One of those is right. So, either way, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. And we're gonna go ahead and make that. And that's gonna be our 4th of July dinner. So if you're an American and you celebrate 4th of July, happy 4th of July. If you're not, ha have a happy day. First off, a huge thank you to Sedward1984, aka Craig, for this absolutely gorgeous knife. Seriously, this Yexel Go is a work of art. And now my prized kitchen possession. Thank you. I like to use one Roma tomato para Mexican pizza, and damn, this thing's sharp. Oh my god, it's like paper thin. I love this thing. Now for the seasoning, I just tend to use Taco Bell's own seasoning, but I actually forgot to get it for this, so I made my own using Slap Ya Mama and some extra cumin, paprika, and chili powder. It worked. Get your skillet nice and toasty, spritz it with cooking spray, and add your ground beef. Now we use 8515, they use a much fattier version, so ultimately it's your call. Add a quarter cup of water and what this does is it helps break down the meat into a finer ground. And once you add your seasoning, it creates a sauce. And then my little secret weapon, tapioca starch. Just a pinch or two and it thickens it up to make a perfect Taco Bell-esque slurm. You know, but a good kind of slurm. Hey there pretty lady, what you doing? Huh? What? Oh, the beans, yes. Refried beans. We like to use Taco Bell's brand because, well, this is a Taco Bell meal, so let's well, just use theirs. You can make yours from scratch if you want. Knock yourself out. Crisco. It's good for the soul. Not so much for the heart, but it is amazing for Mexican pizza and gives you that iconic, classic, bubbly quality that everyone loves. And if you don't love it, why are you here? Once your Crisco disappears into the night, add your little tortilla shell. Now it's about 30 to 40 seconds aside. You gotta be careful because it goes from not done at all to burnt. So just take a little peek and then give it a little flip and then you're done. It's maybe a minute process, give or take 15 seconds. Grab your XXL shell, not just large, but huge, because anything less will not properly hug your Mexican pizza. Pop that tortilla in between two damp paper towels and mic it for 15 seconds. Now time to build this beautiful amalgam. And tonight, for our libation, we are having New Belgium's Voodoo Ranger. It's an Imperial IPA. It'll knock you on your boo-boo. It's a 9%. No better way to celebrate America's birth than by getting a little toasty and having some Tex-Mex. Yeah. I don't know if we did it right. 
Probably not. And there you have it, folks. The genuine Bonaparte copycat recipe of an item that you didn't know existed yet. This is the Crunch Wrap Mexican Pizza, or possibly the Mexican Pizza Crunch Wrap. It's one of the two. How good is that looking here? If you hear pops, boom, and hisses, it's because it is the 4th of July and our neighborhood's going nuts. Maybe we'll go outside and get some footage of it and put it in here. Something happening out there. Can't see it. We're walking around our neighborhood trying to get, get to get you guys some firework shots, but you hear it, you don't see it. Woo! It looks good. And we know how to make a Mexican pizza. We damn well know how to make Mexican pizza. And we know how to make a crunch wrap. So let's see if we know how to make a crunch wrap Mexican pizza or slash Mexican pizza crunch wrap. It looks but, good. Either way, Jen's gonna dive in first. I hear a little crunch, but yet not crazy to get through. Really good. Does it taste like exactly what it is? A Mexican pizza combined with a crunch wrap, or is yep. it like a new entity in itself? Mm -hmm. You know what it needs though. So there you have it, folks. That is how you wake up Gen Y Bonafide Cup of Cat recipe of something that's not even out yet at Taco Bell. It is a Mexican pizza, crunch wrap, crunch wrap, Mexican pizza. Doesn't matter. Either way, it's good. Uh, we like it very much. We hope you like it very much. If there's a copycat cat recipe you want us to recreate or make, let us know in the comments below. Form your words into sentences and put them in the comments down there and we can communicate because that's how it works. If you would like to support this channel or sponsor a copycat recipe video or a particular review, go to Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, you can be in the credits every single episode. Or, if you specifically want us to do a recipe, then that can be taken care of as well on Patreon. So please check out Patreon right here. We've got a lot of cool stuff on there. We really appreciate it. It allows us to keep doing what we do. As well, if you want to buy a shirt or follow us on all these things. Damn, Imperial Beer. If you want to follow us on all these things here, that is also an option. That way you can be kept up to date of everything we do because YouTube is not going to let you know. Also hit that little bell if you can. So either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. A lot more food vlogs, recipes, and reviews. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great fourth. And until next time, wait, oh, as always, gotta eat.